Too much sugar, specifically sweet drinks, may be killing 200,000 people every year in this country. Fox 4's Lori Brown asked North Texans if they would be willing to give up their sweet tea and soda. Researchers say sugary drinks are killing people, 184,000 people a year to be exact. It's a pretty shocking assertion given you can't put death from soda on a death certificate. But researchers from Tufts University looked at the conditions soda can cause, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and cancer, and then used a statistical model to estimate how many deaths each year are linked to sugary drinks. What they found is the sugary drinks are taking as many lives as the flu. It tastes that good. But we found the news did not cause any pause at a local soda fountain. God's not gonna let me go anywhere. He's got plans for me. I know it's unhealthy. It's, it's I just like it. I don't like water. So even though you believe it's not good for you, you're still drinking it. Mm-hmm. That's good. But some say the news should send a chill. Dr. Jane Sadler, family practitioner in Garland, says she's seen patients' health improve once they gave up their Dr. Pepper for their doctor's advice. In one month, I had one gentleman lose five to 10 pounds, and um, it was great. It propelled him towards a healthier lifestyle. And if you're thinking about switching to diet soda, experts say that's not such a great option either. Your best bet, sparkling water. But the American Beverage Association points out that the authors of the study themselves acknowledge that they are at best estimating the effects of sugar-sweetened beverage consumption. They contend that the study does not show the beverages themselves cause chronic diseases. And that's something North Texans will be happy to drink to. Like Lori Brown, Fox 4 News.